So I'm going to move on this new world that you're painting for us right now. Right, because yes. you, know, you talked about containers. I live in Cape Town, so the only reference I have to a container is when the boat docks at the harbor and there's 400 containers and you have to offload that. And in computer wholesale, you'd probably ship monitors in a container to South Africa from Taiwan yeah. in that next 23 days. So this new world, right, that you live in because you educate, help, oh, skill up customers. And like you said, you also write code. I wouldn't tell everyone that, uh, but but you help customers, not customizers, um, you help customers customize. <laughs> um, you help customers with moving from their traditional applications, web applications, to a modernized ecosystem in the cloud. Yeah. And in this case, it's specific to uh, Microsoft Azure and what you can do in Azure. Okay, I'm not going to touch the slides again, Quinton. Um, it's, it's entirely up to you. So this new world, I know you've started talking about it, but but what is it? what are the challenges around this new world, right? So I think um, the new world is actually more around customer expectations of their digital interaction with you as a business. So they're looking for fast, fluid, and reliable experiences. Reliability is probably one of their top um, their top um, KPIs for you as, as a business. So they they want a fast, reliable. They're looking for um, functionalities, new functionalities, consistently and and um, and engaging in. Um, and innovative functionalities that they're looking for, and intelligent customization, and that comes back to this innovation. So you constantly need to be innovating, and to do that, you basically need to to solve three big problems, right? You first need to make sure that you use an open and scalable platform. Now that could be Kubernetes, Docker, it could be um, it could be Azure Container Instances, it could be Service Fabric, it could be, and these are all the decisions you need to make as an as an engineer or as an architect nowadays. As what if, which of these has longevity, which of them has uh, the reliability and security and community support that you're looking for. And, and in, in most spaces, the two that stand out in Azure are, um, or three is Azure Container Instances, Azure Kubernetes Services, and um, Azure App Services. And I think in complexity, they go that way. So App Services is probably the least complex problem you have to solve, uh, or the least complex uh, solution that you're going to be looking at. And that's typically where you're going to replace an IIS type application. The second, uh, and then the Kubernetes is containers, so bring your containers, we'll cover that just now. And then you have your cross-platform experiences, and that's having reactive front ends that can scale to mobile or to a browser, or even having a mobile application in Xamarin, but that needs to look consistent with your, um, with your website. And that allows you, once you have those platforms and things in place, that allows you to have continuous innovation. 